No sleepless nights Dreaming of you Please hold me tight Cause I can't help the way that I feel I just can't help the way that I feel do 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 Oh, you make my love come down. Come on. Oh, you make my love come down. Make it go all the way round. Oh, you make my love come down. Mm -mm. Let me know who sings that song, and I'll give y'all a shout out. And, um,. My very first review of Love and Hip Hop New York. That's coming up within like a week or two. So, um, yeah, y'all do that. Um, leave the comments in the bottom below. Um, the name of the artist, the name of the song, what year it came out, what album it came off of. And I'll give y'all a shout out. And whenever the Love and Hip Hop New York's, um, the, you know, the new season come on, child. Okay. Now, speaking of shouts, I want to give a shout out to. My boy, spilling all the tea um, for uh, my season finale review um, of, of this show. Uh, I was singing uh, Tamar Braxton, Blind, off the Bluebird of Happiness album, which I just recently purchased. Uh, so, shout out to you and shout out to him again on um, the video after before this one, which was my uh, reunion part one review, and I was singing Leona Lewis, Happy. Off the uh, Echo album. Um, and also give a shout out to my girl. Ashira630. Off of um, my season finale review. Of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Um, she also said. You know. Tay Martian fan here. Tay Tay. So. You know. I was singing Tay Martian song blind. So. Okay. Getting straight into this review you guys. So. We left off with. Um, it had got into Ray. Mr. Ray. And. Um, Lazelle. And so Lizelle pooched on over across the stage, giving him a hug. I actually didn't see this last week, or at least I didn't pay attention to the fact that we saw um, Zell, uh, a lyrical, say, oh, why don't you get up and give him a hug? So Lizelle got up, um, gave him a hug, and we saw um, Ray just kind of like sitting there. And um, Zell, swear from his, Zell said from his IG rant that um, Ray was, you know, kind of just like, you know, that like he didn't want to touch him. And so apparently when he did that or whatever, it was already a security guard like in the way. But he just started wailing on Ray like tat, 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 tat. Like he was, we heard the licks. It was just like, damn, it came out of nowhere. Um, they immediately escorted Zell off the stage. Um, and we saw Ray, you know, obviously upset, um, shocking. I mean, who would think that something, you know, that somebody would kind of do that to you? Um, you know, it seems like a kind gesture, him walking over there to give you a hug, but then you, uh, then he ends up, you know, fighting you, you know, and all that shit. But me personally, if I knew somebody didn't like me and I didn't like them, if they came, if they just randomly came out of nowhere, um, expecting me to give them a hug, you know, they just came to me. So I come to you. With open arms. If somebody just came to me with the open arms and I don't like you and in, 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 in public and I know you don't like me, I wouldn't be inclined to hug your ass either. Um, th there's no way that, that their beef could be settled that quickly with just a hug. You understand what I'm trying to say? So I would have been guarded too. But me personally, I would have stood the fuck up. Because just in case. You wouldn't go hug my ass. I would be, you know, a little bit more prepared for your ass. Um, but, you know, obviously Ray wasn't, you know, Ray wasn't thinking like that and, and all that kind of stuff. Like, you know, you just don't think that somebody's just going to wild out on you like that. Obviously, Zell is a different type of character, darling. Um, so, uh, Solo Lu they escorted Zell off, like I said. Solo Lucci, he got up. He was just like, yeah, this is some bitch ass shit. How you going to do that kind of shit to him? And all that kind of stuff. You're going to sneak him on the low, yada to the yada. I mean, it was a little, yeah. Um, 
lyrical. She, you know, she was upset and crying. She was just like, he's not a good person. Like, how can you do that kind of stuff um, to somebody? You don't do that. Um, A1 came over to uh, Ray's side. Everybody was trying to comfort Ray. And, you know, it was just definitely a, a moment, a shocking moment. But I don't think Zell Swag is a bad person. You know, when I see Zell Swag on interviews, um, he talks about all the kind of stuff that, that Ray is doing behind the scenes trying to destroy him and all that kind of stuff. And I honestly, like, I low-key believe it. Um, and so I just don't... It was just a wrong move. I just personally, for, for people like Ray, um, just in general, I mean, I wouldn't have hugged him. Well, maybe I would have hugged him. I don't know. Maybe like a few years down the line if, if the beef was that deep. But I definitely wouldn't have hit him. I don't think that um, he deserved to get hit. I'm not a big fan of Mr. Ray. Um, and, and as the you know weeks have went by, Lazelle has kind of grown on me a little bit. Um, and he's probably coming back for next season, probably. But um, if they both do come back for next season, they both need to just end this beef and go on to something else. But... um. Like I said, even though I don't too much care for Ray, I don't think that he deserved to get hit like that. Um, I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments how y'all think about that whole um, Ray and and, 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 and Zell thing. Because um, it just wasn't that deep. And ultimately, it's just it stems from them just trying to be the best gay for some women, for some for Masika and Moniz. Like, you know, like, why do we have, why does it have to be a competition? Why does, you know, it's just that's your friend and that's your friend. If, if they can't get along in the same space, then hang out with them separately. But, you know, there's, I don't know. It, it's just a lot of behind-the-scenes shit. Apparently, Lazelle said that he was doing it. I don't know. I'm done talking about it, pretty much. Um, Ray got back on the stage. A1 went back out there, went in his dressing room with him, which was very nice. Um, A1 and Lyrical seemed like two of the most probably genuine people, the most genuine people on the cast. They seemed like very nice people. Um... So, you know, they went out there, the audience welcomed, you know, him back. And Masika was just like, um, Lozelle is the kind of person that will throw his mama under the bus for fame and yada, yada, yada. I do think that Zell got that fame spirit, like he'll do anything for fame or whatever. But, I mean, ain't over half of y'all do anything for fame. I mean, hell, look who's talking, too. Okay? Um, Masika Kalisha. I mean, you, you're not... Masika acts like she's on her some kind of pedestal with that glue on her damn forehead. I'm just like, Masika, please. You ain't no better than nobody, sis. And, and you just not, and you never was. So, anyway. So, you know, they had that moment, and, you know, they moved on from that. So, moving on, all of a sudden, um, Miss Parker, Nikki Parker, Nina Parker, out of nowhere, she said to, um, uh, she asked Miss Nikki, baby, she was just like, why is the castle divided? She was just like, because people are fake. People, you know, don't really like each other. But then they be around each other throwing shade. Yada to yada. Somehow or another, Miss Nikki Baby and Masika got into an argument. And y'all know Miss, Miss Nikki Baby and Masika has history when they were both uh, messing around with Mally Mal. Uh, well, Mally Mal was apparently messing around with Masika behind Nikki's back. Because him and Nikki was apparently in a real relationship, they say. Um, So they started arguing and going back and forth. And... Um, Miss Nikki, baby, what the hell did she say? She said, um, your whole life is struggle. You look like struggle. And, um, Masika had a good comeback saying that, um, what did she say? My heels are higher than your self-esteem or something. You know, the bitch got some reads to damn Masika. I'll give her that. You know, but well, I mean, what else she got? Once again, they kept throwing shots at Ray right at Zell, talking about he lives in a hefty bag and all that kind of stuff. I didn't think that was nice or appropriate, but obviously, when you're mad, you say anything. I know I do, so whatever. Um, do, 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 do. okay, they got on Bridget, Marcus, Brooke, Keisha Cole, Booby, that whole situation. Um, in this particular reunion, I, I, Brooke, Bridget, she's a real life. She she tells the truth. She's honest about most. She's more so honest about other people's shit, but she definitely has an honesty factor in her. Because, you know, they're talking about the whole thing, and, and Brooke and, and Marcus, is they together, then Bridget and Booby was dragged into it, and all that kind of stuff. She was just like, you know what, um, when it's a gray line there, you know, men blur the gray lines, play with the gray lines all the time. 
Um, meaning that when it's a gray area in a relationship, people slide in and out of the relationship and, you know, it's just, it means nothing. The majority of the time it's the men that's out there, you know, cheating and, and doing whatever until he get back right with his girl. But he don't expect for his girl to do the same. If she does, it's like the end of the world, you know. So, y'all know the men ego shit. Um, so, that's what she was saying and, you know. They talked about the passionate kiss between Booby and Brooke and Keisha Cole. She was up there making her shots looking like Elvira. And she was just like, um, yeah, um, that was a real passionate kiss child between y'all. And so I ain't never kissed my friends like that. They was making jokes saying that Marcus and Keisha should get up and kiss um, because, you know, Booby. And, you know, when you marry somebody, when you have kids with somebody, there's always going to be a connection there. And you could definitely tell in this particular reunion that Keisha definitely still does have feelings for Marcus. Keisha has feelings for boobies. Excuse me. Did y'all notice how uh, Marcus did not call Booby to his face, Lil Boo Boo, like he's been saying this whole season behind his back? Catch that dirt. You don't want them hands. You don't want them Houston fires. You don't want them. You don't want them hands. He don't want them hands. Taiwan does he? So um. Yeah, so they was having a moment. Um, you know, I don't like James. That's one thing. Bridget ain't shit, and she's a thought pocket. But I do not like James, her ex-boyfriend. He kept throwing shots, you know, from the crowd and making comments and saying all kinds of shit. Like, it. child, at the end of the day, this lady cheated on you 1,700 times, and you stayed with her until the 1,701 time. So, you know, sit your ass now. You can't say nothing because you sat there. Yes, she did it, but you sat there and took all the damn treatment, didn't you? Um, so moving on from that, we got a we got into T T Tierra look great. I didn't mind the red hair this time. Um and oh, one thing um I did want to say was that when Lazelle, when they first walked Lazelle off, even though Lazelle and Tierra are cousins, um she did say she can't be around that. She was just like, he was fucked up for that. He was wrong for that. Like, you don't do people like that. You don't do that kind of thing. And I was just like, oh, okay. Um, so, you know, pretty much everybody was on Ray's side or whatever. And it was just like, okay. I understand the moment. But, Ray, if you are really doing all this shit behind the scenes, you need to stop. Seriously. And you know you're not a fighter. Don't do that. Don't be testing people. Especially somebody who ain't got nothing to lose like Lazelle. I mean, most of y'all ain't got nothing to lose, to be honest. I mean, you, look where you started off on. But, um, I'm just saying. Um, so, TT, um, Cisco, they came up there. Tierra looked great, like I said. Um, you know, Cisco's just a, a fuck boy, just up there looking stupid. Him and Moniz ended up getting into it. Moniz had, Moniz. She used too much concealer and not enough foundation because she was looking real yellow. Um, and, and her eyelashes the whole time looking like they was going to fall off and hit the floor. I was like, um, Moniz. But I couldn't stand the damn antlers she had on her damn show. The fuck was that, Moniz? But anyway, um... You know, TT, she's still trying to figure out who's in her life and not. And she was just like, it was just shady how my friends did that whole situation with the whole rehab and, you know, all that stuff. And I'm just like, well, bitch, did you get help? That was the main damn thing. Yes, yeah, fucked up they did it on the show. Yes, yeah, fucked up they didn't call your actual family to come. But your actual family ain't on the show. I mean, you know how this shit works. Uh, but she said rehab was the best thing to happen to her. Monice, you know, ended up getting into it with Cisco because they was arguing back and forth on who wanted the best, which person wanted the most for Tierra and all this shit. Um, Cisco got up. He had like he was going to slap Monice down. She quickly backed down. Lil Fizz didn't do a damn thing. Of course he didn't. I was sitting over there, um, you know, rubbing that good lotion child in his hands. I wonder if it's actually, he should actually just come out with a lotion line and call it a day. This B2K thing is not going to work. It's not going to be a thing. Um, so that whole moment went down. What else happened? Um, I think that's pretty much it that I can remember. Hopefully this video don't cut off. But if it do, see you later. Because um, <laughs> I'm not doing a part two, child. Um, 
I see anything else that happened that I can think of. Um, they got into the whole uh, Chanel West Coast thing. Um, you know, and, and how Chanel kind of dis a one back in the day when, you know, he wasn't when he was just um, one. He, you know, before they put the A in front of it, when he was just one back in the day when we didn't know who he was. We didn't know one, two, three, four. So, yeah. Um, and, and they got into that. She apologized. You know, maybe she was having a bad day. Maybe she had diarrhea that day. Cramps. Who knows? Um, if she had a headache, shit, I have days when I was, my God, I ain't no telling what the hell I might say. I'm always nice to people, though, but I'm just saying, like, in my head, I'm just like, would you please get out of my face? My God, my God. Um, but, you know, that was a moment. Um, they got to the whole Hazel E thing. Hazel E obviously wasn't there. She got kicked, 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 kicked out. Um, and... So they was going back and forth. Lyrical kind of chimed in. She was just, you know, protecting her husband. I hated that hair. Oh, so ridiculous. And yeah, that was pretty much it. There wasn't much to that. Um, Lyrical was throwing shots saying somebody ain't that talented or something. I guess she was talking about Chanel West Coast, but I mean, hell, whatever. Um, Keisha Cole, she did a performance. Incapable, incapable, incapable. So incapable. I definitely like the song. I think the video's cheesy and cheap, though. But, you know, whatever. She got to get her coins up again, I suppose. The performance was all right. Um, she was live singing, so that's good, I suppose. A little strain queen, but, you know, she comes from the era of strainers. You know, the Mary J's and, the, you know, the cable shit. The strainers, you know. But we love her. Um, What else happened? Uh... They left out with um Safari. Uh, you know, Safari, he's gone to New York. And shout out to one of my subscribers who told me that Safari's going to be on Love and Hip Hop New York. That would be cool, too. You know, Safari got emotional. He said he's really going to miss the people. Safari's a really good-hearted person. I would say A1, Lyrical, Safari. Those three are definitely really genuine, good-hearted people. And Lil Fizz, too, to be honest. And, and you know what, Miss Nikki Baby, she is definitely a real human being. She's not just a blow-up doll. So shout out to that. Um, that's pretty much it, you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching these Love & Hip Hop Hollywood reviews with me. Stick with me for Real Housewives of Atlanta, Love & Hip Hop New York, and all that good stuff. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. I love you guys so much. Stick with me. I'm still using this pad situation. It's, I don't even want to get on that goddamn computer company. But with that said, I'm Mr. Chilaka. Mr. Chilaco Google Plus, follow me at the Skins on Instagram and Twitter, at the Skins on Instagram and Snapchat, Chasing on Facebook, and all the good stuff. I love you guys so much. Continue to stick with me. I'm doing my best, you know, to just stay sane and keep it together and, and just keep trying to give you guys product and videos and y'all keep sharing and helping me out. You know, I'm trying to build, trying my best to build my channel, but it's a, it's a rough situation, child. You know, you with this YouTube thing, you just never know. It's just about pacing yourself and being consistent but i can't do videos as much as i would like to because of work and family and responsibilities and everything else but darling that's enough i'll see you guys later i love you guys so much bye